I thought I'll make a short but sweet video talking about books and how much I love books. I just binge bought about 15 books and I keep coming back to it. Like I would read a few really good books and then I would go out into the world with so much new knowledge and excitement for the world. And then when things get a bit stale, I just get new books. What's so cool about it is if something about my health doesn't make sense, I get books about health and now I understand it. And when I find myself not being able to sleep well. Well, luckily there's hundreds of books, top books on sleep. And one of them would be by a doctor who will give you all the statistics and research you need. And another by a spiritual guru and another one by a practical entrepreneur that will tell you how to sleep four hours in his functioning world and, and make it work. Not just that, but books are also the key to expanding your reality and changing you profoundly. Writers like Dostoevsky completely change your character, your, your view of morality, because they shock you. You know, you read a book like Crime and Punishment which is an investigation into what happens to your soul and your psyche when you make the ultimate crime and basically kill someone uh, not out of self-defense. Or books like the Gulag Archipelago, which teach you about the horrors of Stalinist Russia and how despicable people can be. Or books like The Power of Now that introduce you into a whole new way of living and seeing what, what's beyond thought and the, the deep peace that you can actually feel, feel within. You know, I read so many books up till now, you know, a couple of hundreds easily. You know, maybe not finished a couple of hundreds, but went through couple of hundreds in total and I still feel like a baby I still feel like I should have read a lot more because there were months of my life where I didn't read at all and I deeply deeply regret that and I feel like I just scratched the surface because so many people are writing so many good books So I binge read them. <laughs> That's why I, I sit for, to be more correctly correct, I, I, I stand for four hours every day and read books. You know, I, I aim for four hours. Obviously, it's not always easy to reach that, but that's what I schedule every day and that's why I aim for every day. And like I told you in the past, I'm always just one book away from the next paragraph or, 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 or chapter that will completely change my life. And that's what's so exciting about it is that if you're truly open when you read books, if you're truly picking up information, seeking the meaning, thinking about what you just read, you know, not just marking down stuff, but actually contemplating everything you read while you read it, or even pausing to contemplate, every book you read will change you somehow. Maybe give you something new that you didn't know, or remove something false that you thought was true, but apparently it's not, or maybe you didn't actually know it. Or maybe the book will profoundly change you by changing your philosophy of how you look at life. Maybe a bit, maybe a lot. 
You know, some books have pushed me into manic action and, and achievements, and some books hurled me into depression and deep contemplation about life. I truly think it's one of the greatest, not just pleasures, but, but privileges to be able to read all the books in the world that have been preserved or created. And, and having the, the internet, the access to them, the access, the, the ability to filter the good ones and to pick them out. And, you know, people in the media, they talk about, you know, white privilege or just privilege in general. The ability to read and to educate yourself using books to, to learn about the economy and, and how to how to make money and, and about health and how to convince people, how to and, and, and literally read the life stories of the most successful and inspirational people in the world, sometimes by people that covered them and sometimes by these people themselves. This ability, this luxury that we have in the 21st century, I believe that is the greatest privilege that you can have. The fact that you're illiterate and the fact that you can you have full access to just about all the books in the world and you can even purchase them if you must, you know, if you don't want to get them for free for, you know, two, three, price of two, three coffee cups, cups. Like, no matter how poor you are, you can always afford a book, you know, as long as you live in Western society. Like, books cost about a, like an hour and a half of work in a minimum job, sometimes less. This is insane. It's insane that more people don't read. It's understandable. I don't judge it because I know why, but it's insane to think where we, where we would be if, if people did read. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's kind of my rant on books, my, my love proclamation to books. And I hope this motivates you to read a book today. So if you haven't done it yet, pick up a book, the one that's most relevant to you right now, and go back to educating yourself. And if you did read today, you know, read some more. <laughs> There's a reason why the most successful people in the world in all areas of life are almost always very well read. There's a reason why CEOs read on average 60 books in a year. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you soon.